I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. It's currently Saturday right now, Saturday evening. Uh, yesterday, we went out to celebrate my wife's birthday, uh, went to B-dubs and saw a movie, it was great. And today, I spent most of today coding uh, for my app. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm currently building an app that's designed to help job seekers like you and I uh, land our dream jobs much quicker. Uh, and it's been pretty pretty good today, at least uh, that's what I think. Fixed a couple bugs, improved a couple UI components, and also improved some functionality in uh, this concept that I'm trying to build, this master resume concept, which essentially allows every user to have a master resume where they just dump all their experience, all, all their skills, all the projects they've built and stuff like that, so that uh, when you're applying to a job, the AI, the LLM can help use some of that experience that you have in that master resume to curate a better optimized resume for that specific job application. Uh, right now I'm at school picking up my sister-in-law and we have to grab a couple things um, from a couple grocery stores and uh, Halloween stores for uh, tomorrow. It's Halloween next week and uh, tomorrow is my wife's actual birthday so I'm gonna prepare some stuff for, uh, for tomorrow. But I wanna make this video about the app mainly. I wanna make it a coding vlog uh, focused on programming for the app and I think it's gonna be pretty good just because uh, I don't really have anything else to do but code this weekend no other responsibilities no other obligations uh, but yeah hopefully that stays the focus of this video but anyway I'm gonna catch you guys back in a bit after I get these errands done uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed last week's video uh, I'm trying to keep up the vlogs I'm trying to make it more interesting so let me know what I can do to improve down in the comment section below So it's getting pretty late right now and I wanted to take a break from coding and do a quick demo on some of the changes that have happened to the app. Uh, what you're seeing right now is the landing page and there hasn't really been any, if not many changes to this. Uh, I did add this contact model. Uh, previously, it just wasn't that efficient. It wasn't that effective for me to see some of the feedback that you guys are talking about, some of the comments and stuff like that. So uh, right now this is connected to my back end, and I have a nice pretty dashboard uh, or I guess statistical bar, a board that I can see to, to understand you know, what metrics people are talking about, what comments people are talking about, uh, who to reach out to and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty neat. I wanted to talk about the master resume in specific, so let's navigate there. Uh, this page right here is the view page. So there's three pages for this that I decided to do, the new, the view, and the edit. The new page is only for people who don't currently have a master resume and how I'm checking is I'm looking at the back end, the database, to see if they have a master resume ID associated to their user. If they do, then they can access the new, or if they don't, then they can access the new page. If they do, then redirect them to the view page. Uh, and then just because this is an example account, I already have a master resume. This is a basic template. Obviously, the goal is to have more information here. It's supposed to be a dump, a one-stop dump for all your information, all your projects, all your experience, all your education, all your skills, and stuff like that. Uh, so ideally you'd have more information here, but once you uh, do have a master resume, you can always ed edit and add on, delete uh, s content in your master resume. So that's the edit page right here. Uh, you can add stuff. So let's do University of Toledo. Let's do BS in data science and let's do Toledo, Ohio from, let's do that. Uh, and then let's also, let's remove this teaching assistant role. Let's remove JavaScript and add C++. Let's add uh, what do you want to add? Let's do Angular uh, and let's add ECS. So we can submit this. And then what this does is it sends the data to our database uh, and then you get a toast action once it's complete and you can see here, redirects us to the view page where you can see the changes being added. So that's all nice and sweet. But what I want to talk about here is the uh, main functionality of the app that I'm working towards, which is the master resume or the, I guess, resume scoring concept. And what I'm trying to add is the master resume capability. So uh, if you guys recall in the previous form, they didn't, they, there wasn't a, a toggle button for you to toggle, uh, use master resume. Right now what this does is when you toggle it, uh, it disables the resume upload, uh, which I think I'll change because I still might want to encourage people to upload their resume while using the master resume. Um, the reason being is because most, most people already have one page resume that they want to use for a job application and the whole purpose of this is to figure out if that specific one page resume is the best combination of your previous experiences, previous projects, works and stuff like that. 
uh, to uh, be put forward for that job application? And if it's not, what suggestions can I take from the master resume and put it into, these, into this one page resume uh, based on the job description? So that's what I'm gonna go do right here. I'm gonna take a, a, a quick look at a job description that I can find online. Uh, this is just a random one I got from LinkedIn. Uh, paste it here and I hit submit. So this is taking the content from my master resume. So it's not the best. It's probably not gonna give, give me the best score. However, if I do run this with uh, a better resume, a more optimized resume with actual content, I probably get a better score and better feedback. So let's see what it gives us. It usually takes about 20 seconds to run. Cool. So. Here's what we can see. It shows you the missing requirements. So this job requires four years of experience, proficiency with RSQL and uh, data visualization libraries, which I don't have on my master resume as you saw. Uh, Azure, Power BI, Data Lake and whatnot, resume suggestions, all the suggestions that you could probably get because that resume is just a blank resume. Uh, job recommendations or job requirements. So with the mes uh, master resume concept, what I would do in the detail analysis section uh, is where it would show you what, uh, what I guess, what skills, what uh, work experience bullet points, what projects you can add from your master resume that is not currently in your one page resume. Uh, and then you can go ahead and manually change that yourself. Eventually down the line, the goal is to create a button that refactors your entire resume for you, uh, where you essentially click that button and it takes all the recommendations from the uh, from the back end, from the LLM, uh, and implements it into that PDF and gives you a PDF to download and apply to that job that has the best chances based on the job description and your previous experience and stuff like that. So uh, that's still far down the line. The next steps here is probably to uh, find a way to parse, uh, better parse the resume and index everything. By, by index everything, I mean being, being able to identify and group stuff like education sections and sub sub points in the education sections like certifications, GPA and stuff like that. Uh, same thing with experience and projects and skills. Um, it shouldn't be too hard or maybe it is. I, I've never done this before, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, and then from there we can uh, we can figure out how to send that data in a better way for the uh, backend for the LLM to analyze and compare to our master resume. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, I think, uh, in the next few weeks, in the next video probably. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna focus on some of the stuff that I need to get done, the chores for this app, like adding rate limits, uh, something I've been meaning to do just for my own protection. I don't wanna get DDoSed, I don't wanna get, uh, you know, I don't wanna get charged for stuff that I shouldn't be paying for, so that's, something I'm gonna look into doing tomorrow. Uh, and aside from that, I think all the small stuff that I need to get done for this app uh, that's preventing me from working on the master resume concept should be done. So hopefully the next few videos is all just master resume grind. I'm pretty happy with the work we've got so far. It might seem straightforward to some of you guys, but to me, it's really not. Uh, I am a data scientist, not a software engineer. So a lot of this implementation work is, is new to me, but yeah, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it, and I'm learning a lot, so yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to continue doing some of this work. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it for today and then pick it back up sometime tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then. And there's things we can do in product to do that as well. Uh, next slide. So it's currently Sunday morning, um, close to afternoon-ish. And I think I'm going to just start the rate limit uh, work right now. I don't think it should be too hard, but there's... You know, there's this factor that it's new, so I have to think about how I'm gonna do it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and figure that out today, get that all implemented today and do some testing, uh, and then start brainstorming how to get this whole resume parsing algorithm and what the whole final version of the, the master resume refactoring thing work, uh, looks like. So I'm gonna have to plot that or sketch that on my iPad, and then hopefully I have some time to show that to you in this video. If not, then I'll show it to you in the next one. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in a bit. She said that she hate me. I hate me too. I can always tell when you're lying. Girl, you're see-through. All these miles away, yeah. I just want to see you. Baby, give me good faith. She hit me like seafood. Number one, I saw you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. No my old girl salty. She just want to be you. I'm a dog, no Maltese. I don't want to leave you. Once you're right here, I just don't want to mistreat you. No. All right, it's currently 8.37 p.m. And I'm about to go to the gym. Uh, but I want to just give a quick recap before I end the video on how I think this week went, this weekend went. It's pretty nice. We got to spend some time with family and friends celebrating my wife's birthday. Uh, and I also got a lot of heads down work done uh, for the app. Uh, I 
think all the nitty gritty that I need to do, all the small stuff that I need to do before I can focus on the master resume is pretty much done. I got the rate limits done. I got uh, the SMTP set up. I also fixed some uh, contact issue where people weren't able to contact me and I modeled a way to uh, basically enable me to store and track uh, support messages and stuff in a more user-friendly way. And I can track it in the future if I do need to trace back stuff. Um, the next thing I got to work on is kind of nerve wracking just because it's the biggest part of the app. Uh, it's the master resume comp component where I have to actually parse each section, subsection and whatnot of the resume and uh, determine uh, if there's better information that um, the back end, my back end could use uh, to replace that data uh, for that specific resume. So for example, maybe you have a master resume with, you know, I don't know, all your work experience and maybe you're applying to a front-end job where you don't really list out any front-end work you've done in JavaScript or TypeScript or whatever, right? CSS, HTML. Uh, so in your master resume, you have those points, but in the PDF you're currently using to apply for that job, that version of your resume you don't, I'd have to find a way to get my backend to detect that and find a specific like section work experience or a project section where you can replace the uh, content from the master resume. So. Um, it's going to be tricky. Uh, I have to figure out a way to model the data. I don't think I'm going to store it in my database just because I don't think I need to, but if I do, I need to figure a way to model it accurately and, uh, in a way that's efficient to query and won't take too long. So, uh, I'm looking forward to do that next week and the following weeks. Cause I think it's going to take a while. So hopefully you guys stick along for that part of the app. Again, I apologize for the quality of the video right now. It's pretty late at night. And I just wanted to get it out of the way before going to the gym. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and consider joining the Discord server. A lot of you guys have decided to join in the past few weeks, which is great. You guys have been communicating, uh, contributing and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Nighttime, vicious, atmosphere, suspicious, knife could cut through the thickness. Yeah.